New technologies can bring to life our heritage monuments, even when they're closed for renovation. In SUTD, we are using virtual reality to recreate historical buildings and imagine their futures. Partnering with the National Heritage Board, the SALT Systems, and the Singapore Land Authority, our students created a virtual model of Tanjung Pagar Railway Station, a Singapore National Monument currently closed for renovation. Working with historical drawings and state-of-the-art lighter skins, we recreated the historical station and contributed to a virtual space that will make it possible to visit the station in VR, even while it remains closed. We went further to imagine the future of the station after it reopens. We designed a pop-up transport museum at the station's main hall, and we used VR as a tool to visualize our designs. We even adjusted our proposal to the heritage environment in real time. Over six weeks, we were trained by the salt system experts to model and visualize 3D environments in Katia and 3D Excite. We recreated Tanjung Paga Railway Station with historical drawings provided by Singapore Land Authority, as well as photographs taken on site visits. With this, we were able to visualize the site within 3D Excite at a human scale and eye level. We felt that some experiences can only be emulated through first person. So especially due to the COVID restrictions, VR really helped us to visualize these experiences in our design. The custom interface really helped us to quickly toggle between our design options that were of different heights and densities. VR was a very helpful tool in helping us to visualize the sense of skill, especially when designing the pavilion. And other than that, VR was used to help us simulate these different lighting conditions to achieve these visual effects that we wanted for our pavilion, which was to create a very immersive and interactive environment for the users of the exhibit. 